Hi, everybody. Um, I, I basically want to spend some time. It is uh, 4 15 on this Thursday, just catching you up to date with what's going on. We do have some gorge snow. I'll show you that sticking up in the Cascades where uh, we're going to have a winter storm warning with heavier snow amounts coming tomorrow and Saturday. And it's been a very rainy day uh, here in the valley. The one thing that turned out to be not correct in my forecast is that I thought once we got past one or two o'clock, at the latest this afternoon, we'd have some breaks in the rain, and that would allow temperatures to rebound to maybe 40, 42. But that has not happened. And we've basically been 35, 37 being held down by steady, mostly light rain at this hour across the area. Now, if you look at the radar right now, and you can see where we certainly have uh, the back edge of this current bit of rain clearing the coast. So there is some drying that's going to be working into the Portland uh, Kelso, Vancouver areas in the next hour or so, already seeing some breaks in the rain down in Salem. But I thought we'd see breaks in the rain a couple hours ago. But because we didn't, boy, it, it's chilly. I do want to uh, let you know that despite how chilly it is right now, there's every reason to believe that temperatures are going to hold steady to an actuality go up a little bit overnight for most of us. So perhaps that's some comforting if, uh, news for you if you're thinking, oh my goodness, it's 37 nights coming. No, I don't think we have to worry about any wintry precipitation uh, here in the valley. I want to scroll down and just go ahead and show you the closer picture of the surface uh, satellite picture. So here we are right here. You see the front that's come in. We knew it would weaken. It's kind of stalled as it came in. And that's the reason, which I should have picked up on better, that the rain didn't really break up and it's just now starting to break up off to our west. But the Friday front is still on track. You can see that back here. This is going to come in Friday morning. And notice this first, we talked about this yesterday. These first couple of systems are coming in from this west to northwest flow pattern. This moisture down to the south is still set to come in Saturday night into Sunday, bringing rising snow levels, some of the heaviest rain we're going to see and much more mild temperatures. So overall, the forecast that we've been talking about is on track. Now, during the day today, the Columbia River Gorge generally stayed above freezing and it was wet. In fact, if you take a close look at the uh, Hood River ODOT camera, well, it blows it up a little bit. You can see that's still absolutely fine. There's been no issues there. Um, but, whoa, am I going to get back to, let me see if I can get back, if I close, okay. Uh, okay, I lost the gorge. Let me, uh, forgive me just for a second while I kind of re-navigate what's going on here. Pardon me, pardon me, stay with me. Okay, let me bring up my gorge page again. Uh, notice the temperatures, 32 Cascade Locks, 32 Hood River. That's Indian Creek Golf Course and Hood River, snow on the ground, light snow fog in the Dallas, 32. Here are the other temperatures, Crown Point, 30. So I did expect temperatures to be 30, 32 overnight in the gorge with some light snow accumulations. That's going to happen. I think these temperatures you see right now will, in fact, will stay fairly steady. We've got uh, Cathedral Ridge Winery also showing a little bit of snow on the ground. There's Elk Ridge Golf Course with some snow on the ground. It still looks like somewhere as early as 9 o'clock Friday morning, the atmosphere will get a warm push all the way through the gorge. And that will end the chance of snow as everything will turn to rain. Your temperatures will rise to 40 or better during the day, and then you'll be all rainy. But clearly, there's going to be some icy spots in the gorge with a continuation of some light snow accumulations tonight into tomorrow morning. So we'll keep an eye on that. Now, I do want to show you what's going on in the Portland metro area, then I'll back it out and get you to the uh, what's going on up in the mountains. So here are those temperatures that I think are going to hold steady to rise overnight. 37 Portland, 37 Vancouver, 43 Salem, 36 Hillsboro. We've been here since the rain picked up around the noon hour. The rain will be ending, uh, breaking up again in the coming hour or two. Temperatures, though, should hold steady. And I really think most of us are going to wake up to 40 degrees in the morning. Probably going to be about a quarter of an inch of total rainfall today in the valley. Some areas um, are on track to pick up a little bit more than that. And now what is going up on the mountains? Well, uh, it's snowing. Timberline Lodge, four inches new. Now, they had some on the ground. They're saying their base is 11 now. They picked up four today. Meadows had nothing. They picked up four of their bases for. Ski Bowl had nothing. They picked up two of their bases too. There's government camp, 30 degrees, snow on the ground. Clearly, it's going to be icy travel overnight tonight with snow over the Cascade Passes and into tomorrow morning through tomorrow into Saturday. Remember the snow level. Here's some other passes. There's Santiam. That's pretty snowy. Willamette Pass is snowy. 
The snow level, here we go, 3,000 feet tomorrow, 3,000 feet Saturday, rising to 4,000 feet Saturday afternoon. And then the big push of warmer air, 6,000 foot snow level or higher Sunday morning. That's rain turning to rain at Timberline, 7,000 feet as we go through the day Sunday, up to 8,000 Monday, up to 8,000 Tuesday. So yeah, we have some pretty good snow tomorrow and Saturday, but then we basically melt it and wash most of that away. And all of that, is going to produce some flooding concerns, which um, brings me to this um, next bit of information. Uh, I'm sorry, I keep moving this around. Heaviest rainfall. I talked about this a little bit yesterday. It still looks like Saturday evening, late afternoon into evening through mid-afternoon Sunday, is going to be the wettest period of rain we have overall. Absolutely steady hours just through that period, basically Saturday night into Sunday afternoon, Portland, Salem, Vancouver, could pick up two inches of rain or more. Then we get a bit of a break on Monday. Monday could be dry in the morning or mostly dry, and then just some light stuff in the afternoon. The rain picks up again Tuesday, and by Tuesday night into Wednesday, we're back into hours of steady rain with another inch plus in the region. So again, think about it. I think we're not going to get enough rain to produce any problems tomorrow, but you wake up Sunday morning, and certainly during the day Sunday, there's an increasing chance we'll start to see some high water spots, some ponding of water and that type of thing. Heaviest rainfall bringing flooding concerns. So here are the total rains for what's falling today through just Sunday. At the coast, three to five inches. Coast range, four to seven. Valley, three to four, including what's falling today, tomorrow, then adding that two inches plus if we're going to get Saturday night, Sunday. Cascades, four to six. Now, Cascades, four to six inches of rain, that will fall on top of the 20 to 30 inches of cascade snow that's going to be falling today through Saturday. So you have all that snow. You have a big warm-up. You have all the rain coming on top of it. That's big-time runoff into things like the Sandy River, into the Clackamas River. We don't have snow in the Coast Range, but clearly uh, Wilson, the Wilson River and other, uh, the Bernonia, um, Nahalem River, uh, all those rivers will be seeing a rise of water. Now, generally speaking, I don't think as big as these numbers are, they're going to be producing a lot of issues in the coast range. Maybe Johnson Creek and the Tillamook, not Johnson Creek, maybe the Wilson River and the Tillamook has some issues. We'll be following that stage closely Sunday into Monday. Remember Monday, we get a little break before we get that next period of rain. But absolutely, we'll be watching rapid rises on the Sandy and the Clackamas coming out of the uh, the Cascades and those rivers will be watched carefully Sunday into Monday as well. So hopefully we get through this. Okay. It's kind of spread out, but still that's a lot of moisture coming down. All right. Here's the seven day forecast for Portland. No big changes to the overall forecast. I think temperature goes up. I think it's 40 or better when you wake up in the morning, 49 tomorrow afternoon, maybe 50 makes sense. That we're going to get some breaks in the rain tomorrow. We'll see. We have a front coming in in the morning hours. And then we'll look for some occasional rain after that. Saturday, um, pretty wet throughout the day. The rain will turn steadier and heavier the latter part of the day with those hours of absolute steady widespread rain that will be coming down pretty good Saturday overnight and then really most of Sunday steady rain. Then we get a needed break, which might save us, might save us from any significant flooding issues. That's Monday, mainly dry start, a little bit of rain in the afternoon. And then during the day, Tuesday, Rain picks up and gets going, and it's really Tuesday night and all day Wednesday that we have that last shot of heavier rain. That breaks into scattered showers Thursday and Friday, and right now it looks like we would be dry that following Saturday, Sunday. Notice the warm temperatures right around 50 in the morning, Sunday to 57, 50 to 57 Monday, 52 to maybe 60 on Tuesday, 50, 54 Wednesday. Yeah. Um, so that is your update. We'll follow it. We'll be watching river levels. Uh, as needed. And uh, I will talk to you soon. I'm meteorologist Rod Hill.